I'm always trying to figure out, when you're watching the football game and you don't really have a favorite team, is it okay to switch sides? I'm not really too sure. Maybe we should ask Caitlyn Jenner. What is up everybody? This is Matthew or Country A with Vets of New York and I am coming at you today with a really special thing that I've got going on. Actually, it's really not that special. It's just some more Redneck Center of Education stuff to let you know. We've got some, uh, some extremely flammable material, so if you could, please do not try this at home without extreme adult supervision. Uh, this stuff is uh, very dangerous. But uh, let's get to it and I'll show you exactly what we got going this on. This is it right here. This is what we got. We have some stump remover. I am not going to say what that name is. Maybe I should be blocking that out, but I don't really care. So uh, you take this stuff, which is mainly just potassium nitrate. It says it on the back. I'm not going to peel it off for you. But you mix this with regular white sugar and you end up coming up with this. going up quick that was a better mixture holy cow now I don't have a scale um, but I'm gonna eyeball this usually what it is is supposed to be 60 40 it's supposed to be a 60 40 mix now this stump remover contains what they call potassium nitrate and the reaction between the potassium nitrate and an oxidizer or sugar creates a flame a big flame now they generally say about a 60 40 mix um, by weight I'm just gonna eyeball this I've been eyeballing it all day I've been having a lot of fun with this stuff uh, there's a little bit in there and you're just gonna take dump a little bit of sugar in there all right, maybe a little bit more all right and then uh, you just stir it up That's all I gotta do just stir it up doesn't really take much to do this kind of stuff and you guys so much fun with this stuff like I, I mean you could uh, you could put it on the stove right cuz I you put it in a pan and you can bake it down or fry it down to this brown paste and it gets hard pretty quick but you can put it in this brown paste and it basically molds to whatever you want it to um, you can put water in it also do a 60 40 with a little bit of water in it and it um, as it boils you put yarn in it and then you can after it's done you uh, bake the yarn up at 300 degrees in the oven I learned this all from a guy on YouTube he's called the king of random so this is not new but uh, it's a lot of fun and I figured I'd show all my redneck friends out there that sometimes city boys are some fun people to hang around now let's see with any luck this will light on fire <laughs> oh crap <laughs> and the inside there on the fire that's probably not a good idea to be doing inside my shed <laughs> So anyway, um, that's exactly how you do it. Now, you could actually take this stuff and if you mix it, do a 60-40 mix, you know, do a 60 stump remover, 40% uh, sugar. Um, you can take that mixture and put it in the oven to dry it out. The guy said that the um, potassium nitrate is actually, or the stump remover, is actually a hygroscopic material, meaning it draws moisture from the air. So if you put it in the oven at about 300 degrees, I've tried 275 degrees just to be safe bake it for about 10 minutes and then take it out of the oven it gets rid of all the water now he actually makes solid state rocket fuel engines with this and i know that some of you guys out there would love to see that kind of stuff go off man rocket engines are you for real so let's go ahead and see what else we can do with this stuff Ooh. 
If you remember, I told you you can put this stuff on a stove too. If you pour a little bit of water in it, it comes up with this goop here. And uh, it's a little bit malleable right now, so you can kind of shape it and, and mold it into whatever you want to. Um, I tried a couple of different things, but they didn't work. But I'm going to show you exactly how volatile this stuff is. See, it will, the other stuff with just the powder works great. You know, it would work really good if you put it under pressure. I'm going to take a little bit of this stuff and just mush it down. And then we're going to set this on fire. Let me show you what happens just this little bit of stuff. It literally goes off just like a rocket. Like, I mean, that stuff is awesome. Okay, so what I did is I took that material that I showed you when it was boiled down, and I wrapped it in aluminum foil, and then secured it down with some tape. And I had actually made some wicks, if you can see right here. Um, I didn't do the wicks very well, so it doesn't work. But we're gonna try it anyway. I wanna see exactly what this thing should do. Now, if I am right, this should actually smoke quite a bit all right the lick the wick isn't isn't working right i didn't dry them out that's the problem you got to stick them in the oven and dry them out it's got too much water in it but i can heat the end up here where the other material is There it goes. Look at that. Here we go. I baked the wicks. Hopefully this will work. We'll see. Now the applications of this are actually pretty much not, not endless, but there's an awful lot of applications for it. Um, if you go on, a, just Google it, a bunch of YouTube channels, they'll show you how to make everything from rocket engines to smoke bombs. I was just using it because, well, I like fire and I like stuff that sets on fire. It's a lot of fun. And you guys know that the last couple of videos that we've done for Redneck Center of Education, what happens? Stuff sets on fire. Okay, we got a baby food jar full of it and a wick. The wicks don't work very well, so... We're still gonna try to see how this works. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Blew the top right off of it. Look at that. <laughs> so I hope you guys really liked the video. And if you'd like, like, subscribe, send me an email. If my email's out there, I'm not too sure if it is. Put comments in the comment section. Let me know what you guys would like to see next, if you guys would uh, even watch my videos. Don't really have that many subscribers yet. Don't bother me, none. I like making these dang videos. I have a lot of fun. So, like, subscribe, and uh, put a comment in the comment section. Like it, dislike it, doesn't matter to me. Remember, this is Country A from Vets in New York. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, Second Amendment. Oh, and one more thing. If you guys haven't uh, checked out my brother's uh, page yet, it is um, uh, Vet Reads Daily, where he goes through some biblical principles and then does some random videos with him and his son, and uh, maybe does some toy reviews and stuff like that. So if that seems like something that you would like to do, just hit him up. Remember, that's uh, Vet Reads Daily. Like, subscribe to his channel. He's pretty good at what he does. Love you, bro. What?